reflect m negative 4 negative 6 over y equals negative 8 and in this problem they want us to use coordinate notation alright so when we're looking at this <laughs> um, what we need to focus on is the y values negative 6 is greater than negative 8 therefore we're going to use the rule we're adding okay so the rule would look something along the lines of this x comma y the x value will stay the same because we are working in a vertical distance because this slope is has a zero slope it's a horizontal line so it would be x comma y and since it's getting more negative it would be minus two times the absolute value of x minus x sub 1. We'll use the absolute value to represent the distance between the point and the line. All right, using the ruler positive left. All right, so we'll just color code it and then go from there. So the x goes right there. Ooh, I meant to use, this is, should be a y. All right, and then we have our y, negative 6. And then we have our 0 slope of negative 8, which would go right here. All right, let's get cracking with this. We don't need to really do anything with this part because it's just showing what our pre-image is, which is negative 4 and negative 6. Then it becomes negative 4 stays the same, negative 6 minus 2 times the absolute value of negative 6 minus 8. We get negative 4 comma negative 6 minus 2 times. So what we get here is negative 14. <sighs> then from here, we get negative 4. negative 8, negative 8, oh, this becomes a plus. Oops, that's my mistake. <laughs> so negative 6 plus 8 would give us a 2, actually, because a negative, negative, minus, minus would become a positive. So we get 2, so negative 6 minus 2 times 2 would give us minus 6 minus 4. And to end our answer, we would get our location of m prime is at negative 4, negative 10. It's our location of M prime.